Hello my loves, oh, welcome back to my channel, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. I just want to say I absolutely love you. I hope you guys are feeling amazing. I hope you guys are um, really enjoying this time. And welcome to Aries season, you guys. We will be doing a pick a card reading based on what does your career forecast look like for the next three months. I am beyond excited to have you here. Yes. And I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when my videos are uploaded, you guys. Also, please check out my Instagram. I do have testimonials, reviews. I have pick a card readings. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there. And I will be doing a complimentary healing session every other day on my story. So listen, you guys. Yes, please let me know how you're feeling. And... I just want to go ahead and also encourage you to comment below, let me know how you're feeling. I do hope you feel supported on my channel. I hope you guys are feeling just literally loved, comforted, and amazing. Okay. Also, thank you so much, Lena, for your generous donation. I do appreciate it. Okay, thank you so much to all of you who have been so loving, so kind, you guys. This has not been an easy transition for me, but I'm really grateful. Okay, I am so grateful. And yes, you guys, I will be uploading Zodiacs as well very soon. I will be finishing up the month. So Aries season, we are in a full zen, you guys. I love it. So also, listen, I do have my donation links below if you guys are feeling generous. I have my Cash App, I have my Indie Deck wishlist, I have my Amazon wishlist, and I have my PayPal. So please, yes, let's go ahead and get started, you guys, and see what's happening. Also, just taking a deep breath, really being in the moment. I really hope you guys are just in a good place. I love you and hoping this resonates with you, okay? If you are new, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. And I do offer mediumship-based readings, you guys. All that information is priced below. So yes, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Let's see what's happening here. So the first pile is the Angel Tarot, the second is the Modern Witch Tarot, the third is the Star Child Tarot, okay? So yes, let's see what's happening with your career for the next three months, okay? Yes. time, please. Really tune in. I just want to say thank you to everyone else who have, who's definitely thought about me, who's been really loving and compassionate and patient, even on my, <laughs> my kind of weird, bizarre days, okay? So let's get started, pile one. Listen, I just um, originally did a video, okay? And I was feeling a lot of the root chakra for you, Pile 1. We're going to pick up where we left off. Okay, a lot of you guys, your career path the next three months revolves around your inner sense of security. Okay, a lot of your identity, a lot of your I am. Um, I've, I did channel a lot of your lineage here. You guys are working through your ancestral lineage. You're working through your past. Okay, you guys are working through past life karmic debt with Gaia, okay? Listen, I did feel a tremendous burden here around the women in your lineage, okay? Something around coming to terms with it or making sense of it, okay? 
a lot of you are in so much pain, you guys. Okay, there's been so much around gossip as well. I like to talk about, um, I had a vision of bees around your crown, you guys. So this is symbolism of, depending on your relationship with Gaia, for me, this is personally danger or a lot of rumors or gossip or when the earth is cursed, okay? So a lot of you guys, listen, there is a strong lineage curse around power and wealth that you're clearing in this lifetime. A lot of people have gossiped around you or they're talking. There's so much around your head, you guys. Okay, I am seeing a lot of distractions from your, your true note or your path. Okay, there's so much around feeling a bit disconnected or just almost as if you're wondering if you're in the right direction. Okay. And I also channeled um, Sun God Ra, depending on who you guys are working with, of course. Okay, there's definitely an influence of lower vibrational energies kind of attacking your head. Um, but this is more around your spirit, you guys. Some of you have cleared or mastered something and you're trying to kind of kind of push ahead or you're really trying to make sense of something here. Okay. I'm also seeing so much around a lot of you guys, this is also Sun God Ra. This could be a blessing. There's a sacrifice, right? So if you think about Sun God Ra, there's so much around his sacrifice, around his tears. Okay. There's so much around his tears. I'm also seeing for a lot of you... This is symbolic of rebuilding your empire. Something around your work life, you guys. Okay, we have act now in reverse. Okay, listen, for a lot of you, this situation involves flowing. You guys may have disconnected from your most recent work environment. I, was, I definitely channeled the last two months, you guys. Okay. There's so much around people and, and the spoken word. Some of you guys are um, kind of getting influenced here by betrayal. Okay. A lot of you, listen, when, you know, whenever I, I think of Sun God Ra, there's so much around your presence, your power, your ability to stand out at work. Some of you guys have been... Um, kind of taking a lead here. My spirit guides are saying taking a lead. And I am getting a lot of you are actually kind of getting noticed. So the sun, you're radiating the sun. And people have not, it, it almost feels as if this is a part of what you're clearing, the fear of others kind of taking you down or taking this light down. Okay? I do see a lot of you there's so much around your crown, your halo, you guys. But the last two months, there may have recently been some kind of fear around a promotion. Okay, when I think of Sun God Ra, I think about a very strong, strong presence within your community. Some of you guys, I am seeing a lot of sacrifice around being noticed, okay? It's not that you're not noticed within your career sector, you guys. It's just you, the, the crown or the crown of thorns that you're wearing, okay? So let's see what else. Yes, you guys are flowing. Listen, your heart chakra. I did see a blockage around your heart chakra, you guys. Okay, you guys have really been caring you guys have really been carrying this burden. Listen, I want you to trust your path, okay? The root chakra is also showing you where you can trust your divine path, the footsteps that you're taking, okay? So we do have the Eight of Pentacles here. This is about working 
really diligently towards your goals, but I'm getting a lot of focus for you. Okay. Listen, I'm also seeing so much around the owl totem as originally uh, channeled, you guys. Okay. A lot of you, there's wisdom around your privacy right now. So some of you guys have lost some kind of money or you've lost some kind of wealth here. Or you've lost, you have lost something really important. It's definitely, listen you guys, please hide a lot of our cloak, a lot of um, your wisdom, cloak your information, you guys. Okay? I do see this as a time to really focus on designing or creating in private. Okay? I'm also getting new opportunities. Okay? There is more opportunity. There's definitely opportunities here at your door. There's a golden door here. Okay? This is about an opportunity coming up that looks, it, it feels abundant, you guys. So please be patient with your opportunities, pile one. There's something very special close to the 25th, but please hide, hide a lot of your information. Or if you guys have been kind of on social media, um, in this case, if you have been on social media sharing your lineage's information or really overdoing some kind of creativity. It's not too much about not sharing it. Trust, you guys. But it's more around um, being able to just hold on to it until you're ready to kind of launch it, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Okay, pile one, what's happening with your career path the next three months? Listen, pile one. Yes, you guys. With tears come sacrifice. A lot of you, there's, you're so humble, there's a humility here around your work environment, around what you've established. A lot of you have been just redesigning your life with this bird and you're, you're caring so much here. You have been healing a lot of your family, okay? I am getting, a lot of you have carried your family in terms of wealth. Okay. But listen, we have open certainty here. Yes, you guys. Wow. Your gift. Please listen, you guys. Have faith that your gift is here. Some of you have had dreams. So there's prophecies around your dreams. Or there's a heightened awareness through the full moon, you guys. There's a beautiful transition around the number two, duality. Okay. You guys are naturally very... Um, I am getting a lot of artists here. Okay. There's this elegance about you. You really stand out. You're really close, you guys, to your true note. Okay, a lot of you are really close to your true node, but I'm also getting a lot of, there's a connection to this beautiful star seed energy. You are galactic, okay? So everything you do is really, it might be different, or you're stepping out of the box here. You like to really work in solitude, okay? You guys enjoy carving out some time here something around your hair as well it's getting you noticed or this fluidity around work okay so we have anticipation and excitement as well yes you guys you are co-creating with the universe closer to the end of the month you guys have a new job or a new project here okay so let's see what's happening with you shall we yes 
this, you guys. I'm getting patterns of three in the drums. So I'm hearing a beautiful music or it feels as if it's a melody from your ancestors, you guys. They really work with the drums. So a lot of root chakra, voice your muse. Okay, this opportunity that's coming towards you closer to the end of the month, you guys, this is going to feel incredibly fulfilling. Okay, and it's also going to, I'm getting a lot of wealth here. You're feeling there's a magnitude in wealth. It's really empowering, okay? your ancestors and yourself, your family, both of you, listen, I should say your lineage, you guys come from sacrifice. There's so much pain around trying to really get yourself to the next level. This is through the earth's stat, you guys, okay? And it's more also around a lot of the conversations that you've had, a lot of the people around you, okay? People have been kind of... Um, I don't know why there's so much fear in your environment, you guys, your work environment. Okay? Or they don't want you to speak up about something that you know. Okay, so let's see here. So let's see what's going on here. A central theme in your career path the next three months. There's this ebbs ebbs and flows, you guys. We have the nine of water in reverse. Okay, I'm getting so much around flowing. A lot of you are relocating in terms of home the next two weeks. Okay. What I'm feeling, there's a lot of pain around having to move or having to constantly shift gears or having to find where you belong or feeling as if you've been outcasted from work for some of you or for others it just feels as if um, wow, the winds the element of air it's been really shaking you up for a purpose you guys are mastering something new here okay something is overdone or it's kind of yeah, you guys are really tired of this old job or you're feeling a bit disrespected or something around the people. They've kind of just been just throwing you off, okay? And this is, it's more, listen, you guys, it's not so much of their fault. I'm feeling a lot of um, the influences of fear around job security and you guys are not having it. There's something about your flow. You're like a fairy. You remind me of fairy energy, you guys. Sag, Leo, Aries. I'm also getting Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay? You guys just really flow. Listen, your bosses, they really want you. Okay? They want you to stay. Um, you are loved in your environment. But there are a group of people. I am getting four people in your environment. There's been so much fear, a lot of water signs. Okay? But wherever I see bees, you guys, I also see industry. I also see hard work. Okay, so you guys are completely loved. Okay, you are loved. You are honored. But a lot of you, there's something around your, your career path, you guys. You feel unfulfilled. Or something is just kind of there. Okay? You guys feel as if it's there, but I want more. I'm reaching for more. I want. So we do have a lot of second house energy for you. This is resources. We have the queen of air in reverse. Listen, some of you guys, I, I do see a trip or there's something coming up here that will reveal truth closer to April. Okay. I do see April 22nd to, through the end of the month, the 30th, there's so much around um, truth. There's truth revealed about this job, okay, or this career path. You guys really love, you love to work, okay, or you love to create, you love to kind of be in your own space on your own. I'm getting a lot of just, you're aloof, like an Aquarius, it's beautiful, you're flowing, Please do not forget how powerful you are, how loved, 
how important you are, okay? Some of you are dealing with a lot of cruelty around the, maybe the women in your family. Excuse me, wow. The women in your family or the women in your um, career environment. This is a karmic lesson for you, you guys. Okay? You guys are learning how to heal or forgive perhaps the feminine in your family. Okay? There's been a lot of maybe even... Um, cutting words around, you know, your jobs. You guys have flowing opportunities. I'm just getting a lot of Sun God Ra. You know, he is showering you with opportunities here, and he's showing you a lot of your power and something around your background, okay? It's also been kind of um, shadow. There's a lot of shadow here. People are casting the shadow. They don't want, you know, anyone to see your shine, Okay. So this is what this is about. This is about the words or the cruelty that's coming with words, the gossip, the bees around your head, you guys. Um, it almost looks as if it's just kind of distorting your image. It's redirecting you towards a different path. Okay? A lot of you are really, really upset because something has not moved, but it will be. You guys, you're carrying, again, the burden, right? But listen, besides the burden... Okay, you are mastering so much of your past life. This has to do with women, you guys. Something around healing your relationship with mother or even just um, showing them the way, showing them how wonderful they are without, you know, kind of getting involved or you guys are just kind of trying to uh, reconnect. I'm getting a lot of reconnecting with the earth repairing words that were said or repairing miscommunications. Someone here, a Pisces, took something you said wrong or they misdirected it. This, this, I don't know, you guys are, there's a lot around communication, but this is what your true note is about, public speaking. You guys, this is about speaking your truth. Listen, we have Neptune here. Okay, voice your muse. We do have this wonderful air energy. Okay, it's in reverse. Okay, we do have a wonderful air quality. This is about being very just comfortable, okay, with speaking. This is because you're headed that in that direction, you guys. A lot of you, you are headed in that direction, and I'm also seeing so much abundance around getting there. Okay, this has been tough, you guys. It does feel as if there's been some heavy weight around your spine specifically because of the burden that has been casted, but you are thriving, okay? It's important to just kind of reconnect with Gaia here, um, really reconnect with the earth or get close to the earth so you can kind of um, just cloak. It, you don't have to hide, you guys, but just cloak whatever you are creating for yourself, I do see you guys speaking the next three months at a seminar or you're speaking your truth. Some of you guys, people are going to be shocked, okay? I, it almost feels as if something is clouding their judgment. They may have loved you in the past because you're, you're very easy to be around, but something has cloaked their judgment. It's diabolic or it's even just spell work, you guys. But there's purpose around this, okay? There is purpose around your movement in life. There's a reason of why you're here. Okay, some of you may be a Libra. A Libra has turned your world upside down. Okay. This feels as if there's been a divine intervention. I'm having a vision of a trunk here or a tree trunk just really separating you in order for you to recreate Okay, the seven of wands. A lot of you, the next three months, some of you may want to surrender a lot of what you're working on. Listen, you guys have a gift just as much as everyone around you. You are a leader. You were bon born to be a leader. Okay, so I am getting a lot of just when you get up, it almost feels as if something has been pulling you down. Okay, it is... This person has been leading something here. Okay, I do feel they have kind of 
thrown this globe to throw you off at work out of fear you're taking over or you're doing something but listen this is about you okay i want you to remember this is about you right now you're mastering a new lesson and you're also creating a new career path for yourself it's not that you don't love the past you guys some of you guys are moving on within the next three months Okay, I do see a career opportunity the 9th of April, right around the corner, you guys. I'm also having a vision of August. You guys have a studio available for you. Um, it's like you're manifesting your creations very quickly. Okay, but please do not give up your fight, you guys, or don't give up on what you believe in. Okay, please do not give up what you believe in. It's okay to be yourself. Okay, I, I want you to know, please understand that your managers or your higher ups, they have no issue with you. They love your light. They love who you are. It has been the earth and the people who have feared something here. These people need love just as much as you do, okay? So let's see, you guys. Yes, what do you have coming up? Listen. Okay, some of you guys may fear. In my vision, you are traveling with a camel here. Okay, you have a camel spirit totem here. I want you guys to look it up. You are walking this beautiful lesson around the desert land. Okay, so you're in solitude. You're in a deep state of reflection. Okay, so the career opportunities are abundant because the more this person turns your wheel in reverse, the more doors are opening. You have a golden opportunity here, okay? Some of you are stepping into um, a very high position. I'm getting a lot of wealth here. Something that involves helping people with the mind, helping people heal the mind. It could be counseling, the moon, you guys, please. Please be aware of just kind of feeling down in terms of psychic attacks or just there's so much around sorcery here for you, okay? It could be your art, something around your art, you guys, your paints or um, the way you design your life or your manifestation abilities, okay? But you do have an opportunity coming up April 9th. I do see you with a very big firm or um, a company that is actually well recognized through an original organization. The moon, listen to your intuition, you guys. Okay, some of you are really empathic. You're really centered around your heart. Okay, and there's an influence that's teaching you. The moon is teaching you how to control your emotions. It's teaching you how to really kind of keep your head above water to really tread the darkest times here okay april 9th you guys it's an open door i i feel this this opportunity is not just going to be yours it's going to land on your lap and I, i'm getting a lot of signatures here okay there's so much around signatures you also have a move Okay, you have an opportunity with photography, with art. I am getting working with someone with the name of G here. This person is an Aries Leo Sat. Okay, this person wants to work with you. This person is eager to work with you. Okay, the moon is teaching you how to decipher or discern what is for you and what isn't. This is also about not working out of fear. The element of mother is also present here, you guys. So we have, again, the connection to the feminine, the connection to women around you. This isn't about going against them, but it's, I'm getting a lot of healing and mending words. Something around words were said, or maybe even repairing um, a disconnection, okay? Or something around empty land. Could be wealth, you guys. Okay, finances. So what's what are big opportunities here in the next three months? Yes, you guys, you guys are counselors. You guys are um, so loving. You are so centered around your heart here. A lot of you are connected to your 
healing abilities and you just love. There's something very loving about you. Uh, this is why Gaia is embracing you and it, Gaia is also your ascended master during this time. It's teaching you. The earth is teaching you how to be patient even when people around you are cruel, okay? So allow this person to work through their shadow, you guys. But there's something around creating barriers, okay? Something around creating barriers around um, the field of justice, okay? Or the law. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of kind of a jail environment here, okay? Or I don't know why it feels that extreme, but I'm having a vision of bars here. So please make sure that you're protecting your work from people who are maybe, you know, feeling kind of cruel because they're restricted or um, maybe being more compassionate or um, asking questions. Listen, this person, please do not approach this person at work. This person does not, they don't want to talk, they don't want to speak, but they're not seeing things because of the, the shadow that has been casted over their third eye. This person has spell work around them to go against you or to be against you. Um, and yeah, don't, don't repair it one-on-one, -on -one, you guys. This is about sending them love, prayers, or, or just really showing them the way, okay? And the way you do this is by stepping away from them, okay? It's like something has completely consumed their head, okay? I'm getting a lot of really dark energy that's not coming out. So they have accepted something here. My spirit guides are saying judgment. We're protected through the bars, okay? So something you're nurturing, if it's something very close to your lineage, please keep it a secret for now or keep it close, okay? Keep it to yourself for now. It will definitely, um, I'm getting number eight, eight months, you guys. Yeah, so we have the three of cups here in reverse. Okay, listen, some of you, it's okay. I, I'm getting a lot of pain around not being cared for or not being loved, not being seen. This person has kind of woven some, some stuff, okay? They're, they've definitely woven some um, poison. I'm getting a lot of poison. It really hurts. It really hurts. This person has a lot of talent. They may be in a higher position for some of you or they coached you at some point. Okay? So... Um, there's a lot of pain or kind of um, reflection around people around you. There's been a lot of clash, like there's a clash here around your community, friends, okay? This is about really being a leader in terms of your heart, okay? Forgiveness and mercy, you guys, okay? A lot of you may need to reconnect with new, new people in your environment or people who actually uh, maybe speak your love language here, okay, someone who's understanding of what has gone on, you guys have had a really um, life-altering experience here, you will be sharing it very soon, okay, let's move on, pile two, Okay, pile two. Are you ready? Some of you guys are dealing with someone with the name of Vanessa. Okay. Or an M. I'm getting a fire sign for some of you. This could be a Sag for others. I am getting a Virgo. Okay, I'm also getting a Libra. You have definitely someone here that you are collaborating with or you are working with. This person is a gift, you guys. They are a gift. We have gentle healing in reverse. Some of you, listen, you have kin around you. I don't know why I'm getting so much of reminding you that you have people around you right now in terms of career that are really showing you the way. They're, they're holding the lantern without speaking. These are guides. Okay, 
So there's something around your heart chakra, you guys. I am having a vision of your uh, power center here, your solar plexus. Okay, some of you guys have really been waiting for destiny to move in your favor, but it's in your favor, pile two. There's something in the direction of Wes that needs to be healed around your grandparents. There's been a lot of disputes here I'm getting. Okay, overcoming adversity in reverse. Listen, um, a lot of you have been, there's been so much around, I fall, I get back up, I fall, I get back up. You are in a relationship, you guys, there's a beautiful karmic relationship that's been really teaching you a lot about um, who you are, okay, a lot about your future. This person is a catalyst to your awakening or a catalyst to your spiritual awakening in many ways, okay, but I am sensing so much around um, yeah, I love you. You guys are feeling a bit defeated. Okay? There's so much around feeling defeated here. Wow. Listen, you guys. There's a beautiful sunflower. Okay? Symbolic of your independence. Symbolic of this, this beautiful growth. Some of you have turned your back on the sun or you've turned your back on your light. Okay. Let's do a general theme here. So we have the full in reverse. Yeah, you guys. Listen, some of you guys are really sitting with the earth or you're in a state of reflection. There's been so much around giving your love away. You've been giving your wealth away. Some of you took a risk with someone most recently, a business partner. Okay, this person, I am getting a fall from grace here. They did not live up to this um, relationship with you or they did not live up. I'm getting a love relationship, you guys. I'm getting a connection to the heart here. Okay. Some of you may have um, taking a risk here with a move, but I'm getting so much pain around giving this person your time or giving your person, you know, this person wealth. Let's see what's going on for you in, in terms of career here. Okay. Listen, there's a portal opening here. There's a movement around Neptune. So a lot of you have been in a state of dreaming or you're really, really reaching for something that's incredibly important here. Okay. I do feel this is about your dreams. You guys are really wishing upon a star. You're really wishing to completely master something here. Okay, but something did not work or something did not kind of um, come into fruition because of the people around you, relationships. I feel this is a loving partner, you guys. There's been a lot of pain around this. I love you, listen. There's a temptation here, you guys. I'm having a vision of apples. Okay, symbolic of temptation, of sin. This, wow, some of you may be religious. Okay, so we do have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here. Listen, you guys, things have felt a bit, I'm getting a lot of erratic energy, especially if you're a Gemini here. Okay, some of you have really trusted someone with your money or wealth. And I do see maybe a missed um, opportunity or something that has been kind of, I don't want to say wasted, you guys, but you guys feel as if something did not work in your favor. Okay. So there's a lot of pain here because of this. Wow. 
So what's going on with your career? Some of you may have had an injury most recently, and you may have lost finances with the fall in reverse. And there's this act of sitting down with the earth. You're really connecting with your purpose. Okay. Listen, my loves, your relationship with your person right now, it's really hovering over your crown. Okay, there's something about your relationships hovering over your head. A lot of you have been trying to manifest or you're trying to think of things, okay? This is a time of creation, your third house, messages, learning, education. Something happened the last two days, you guys, around your finances. Okay, so we do have the Ten of Cups. Yeah. You guys invested. Listen, someone here invested in a home. There's something around your relationship. Okay, there's something around your relationship that caused a bit of a heartbreak. I'm getting a lot of uh, wealth that just kind of withered here around this pocket, around the home, you guys. Okay, you guys are wondering what happened, your sense of security. Okay. What's going on with your career path? Some of you listen, the next three months there will be an opportunity for education, an opportunity for college or furthering your career. There's still a lot of pain, you guys. You may have lost something here. But this is about regaining your sense of joy from within, okay? Some of you may feel as if people are taking from your joy, or you lost the only joy that you had here. Okay? So what's going on the next three months for you? Okay, I'm having a vision of your third eye, you guys. There's a lot of energy around your third eye. Your intuition is heightened during this time. Please pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to what's being shown. I am getting a lot of number fours around you. Stability, security. Okay, structure. I'm also seeing there's so much around freedom, okay? Freeing yourself from insecurities or around wealth. Some of you may be really working through a lot of your pain of not having enough. Or your partner here, you, you've invested. Some of you guys really invested in something or someone. This kind of led to your eyes being closed, pile two. Listen, this is about knowing your worth, okay? This is about knowing your worth. This is about trusting your footsteps. Even when you can't see the destination, even when you can't see around you or who's close to you, okay? Some of you may feel as if there's a lack of finances or there's a lack of abundance here. Okay, some of you may feel as if there's a lack of uh, feeling, okay? You're trying to find yourself again. Wow. So let's see what's happening in terms of your career. Listen, April 11th, you do have an opportunity this is about bridging, something around bridging or crossing this bridge. My spirit guides are showing me a lot of transition here. Okay. So we do have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay. 
Listen, you guys. Yes. Something happened the last two weeks. You guys, something threw you off emotionally. But the next three months, it's about getting it together. Like this by Kelly Lilland. Okay, getting it together. Stepping back into your power. Okay. This could be marriage or a relationship, you guys, but you're reconnecting with your heart the next three months. A lot of you are teachers, okay? You're naturally teachers or you are school teachers. It could just be you're naturally in your power. You really know how to coach people. You know how to empower people. But this, this energy around losing something that you love the most really kind of kept you bound or there's something around cloaking you. But even through this act of cloaking you, you guys, the stars are above you. Okay? You have stars above you. They're guiding you. Okay? Not just guiding you, but they're really enlightening you. So this is about even when you can't see, you can still feel the divine center. You can feel what's happening above you. Keep your faith, you guys. Others, you have latent abilities in terms of your psychic abilities. Some of you are, um, there's this gift, you guys. There's a home coming towards you, a gift of a home in about three weeks. It's being gifted to you. I do see you turning it into a studio or a work studio. You're going to give so much to your community, you guys. A lot of you have this ruling planet of Uranian, a Uranian planet, or Uranus. Okay, this is about stepping out of your comfort zone here. So let's see what opportunities are coming your way the next three months in career. Okay. Listen, you guys, the galaxy really speaks to you. The stars speak to you. Astrology especially if you're a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Leo, a Libra. A lot of you are naturally gifted as well in terms of public speaking or just really empowering. People love you. Okay, Pile 2, please do not forget. People love you. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, so the next three months, a lot of you, listen, there's something, there's a temptation around overdoing um, maybe alcoholism. I don't know if there's something around maybe overdoing pleasure to numb your pain. Okay? But listen, my spirit guides are showing me a lot of really reaching for your fruition, you guys. If you just really reach and trust or even look up. Okay? Trusting your divine path, becoming more grounded and centered. So, the Eight of Cups, you're teaching people how to let go. The next three months, there's an opportunity of um, a training program where you're going to teach people how to let go. It could be meditation practices, Reiki, um, it could just be anything about sobriety, okay? You guys are really empowering. You mediate. You've done this since you were a child, pile two. This is natural. This is a natural gift. This is going to be your own business. Okay? It's something that's really gifted, you guys. It's, it's wow. The person who left you will come back, you guys. Some of you, you're waiting for this person to come back. Okay, I'm getting a lot of pain around this person leaving. This person will add towards your studio where you guys are really working together to build something new. Okay, I do see travel for both of you. Both of you guys are traveling the next month to find yourselves. So what's your advice in terms of career? Please work with Garnett on your left side. Okay. Garnet really helps um, protect you from the evil eye. It really helps protect you from kind of confusion when you have taken a fall. For some of you, there was a major financial risk here. Okay, Garnet will help rebalance your emotions. 
obsidian. Okay, it will not allow anything to take from your uh, arm of receptivity. Okay, I'm getting a lot of pull here. So this is uh, possibly where you've been feeling a lot of your health. Okay. So what is the outcome here? Pile two, yes. Listen, some of you, I do see two very wonderful masculine energies here that are going to help you. Okay. One being a Scorpio. This person is from the past. You may have taken a risk here. A Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Another, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person is really going to teach you about investments. Okay. Or some of you are opening... A studio from a place of trust you're grounded you feel firm you're in your power okay a lot of you have opportunities at your feet you guys this is also about discernment okay very much like pile one very similar but looking at your pentacle how can I grow my empires you do have one opportunity coming in um, closer to the direction of south Please take note, okay, something around Rose is dying or they're withering around this environment, so not everything is, right, my, my favorite saying, not everything that glitters is gold, okay, so what's the outcome here, okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, yes, some of you are mastering um, the act of just focus. Okay, you are so focused and so loved. Your ancestors are teaching you something new here. The angels are teaching you something new. We have Archangel Metatron here. Okay, you are completely redesigning something in your environment. But this is about turning your back on something old, you guys. This is going to require sacrifice. Uh, just as I felt Saturn was here. Whenever I see Saturn, it comes with sacrifice. It doesn't come just by itself here. Sorry, you guys. Just felt like my nose dislocated here. In physical form. So please be aware as well of this person. Um, some of you guys, I do feel this may require a lot of strength, okay? This may require a lot of strength around your career path. Okay, this is also about trusting, okay? Trusting that you're worthy. The physical body, perhaps strengthening your physical body, you guys. Okay, you will get closure from a water sign, which I love. So let's move on here. Okay, pile three. Let's see here. Okay, let's see pile three. What's happening with you? in pile three in terms of career I'm having a vision of the winter okay some of you guys there is a state of maybe scarcity or you're feeling as if do I have more where's where's my my wealth you're trying to rediscover major parts of yourself okay so what's happening here we do have power and legacy in reverse. Okay. Listen, you guys. A lot of you are really trusting your ancestral path. Okay. There's something around your ancestors. They're showing you the way through the hawk's eyes. This hawk in my vision, their eyes are gray. Okay. 
or something around your life right now, it requires vigilance or it requires trust of what you're seeing, what's in front of you. Okay? Some of you have been completely off path in terms of your destiny or your career. Okay? So what's happening here, pile three? So we do have deadly sins here in reverse. Yes, you guys, listen, something that's recently happened the last six to three months. I am getting a lot of you may feel something was done or a contract. You may have started a contract from your pain. A lot of you are feeling a bit wounded or there's something around losing your stability. I am getting a lot of... Um, shadow energy kind of blocking your foresight okay I'm also feeling for a lot of you this has to do with losing people that you love you may have lost people that you love here specifically a Libra okay something happened here around your structure and I do see it led to a contract at work that took you off path. There is an obsession to something, a fast life or even fast money. Okay, but your ancestors, they are guiding you right back to center. Okay, they're really guiding you right back to center, you guys. Or they're reaching for you, they're asking you to come back to your light. So what's happening here? So we do have reconciled differences. Some of you guys had a complete, um, like that movie, my favorite movie, you guys, The Wild. Um, I forget who um, who's the main actress in it, but you guys had a complete, uh, just met, I, I want to call it a manifestation of a new life here, okay? People have left you, pile three, okay, Scorpio? It feels as if people have left you or Pisces Cancer. You've had to kind of pick yourself back up, okay? Leo, Capricorn. It just, it feels as if you had to restructure everything, you guys. Okay, it feels incredibly painful. But you're learning so much about yourself during this path. A lot of you have really kind of stepped into the fire here because of your pain. Religion is at the top of your crown. Some of you guys, this may have to do with your faith, your beliefs, okay? So you have gifts of humanity in reverse. Yes, you guys, listen. The last three to six months... There's something here that really changed your life path. Listen, you have Archangel Michael calling you back. Okay? Especially if you guys are star seeds. Okay, you guys are galactic. This is very common for you. Okay? Indigo children, you guys are really, listen, when you are definitely moving from an incarnation around a galactic life. There's so much here around sacrifice. We lose our path in order to come back to our light, in order to come back to our crown. Okay? So please trust that you are okay. You're right where you're supposed to be. Okay? You are right where you're supposed to be. Some of you have lost your empathy or you're feeling a bit low or there's a really tough, tough exterior here around your heart. Okay. Pile three, there's something around the people you loved that you gave to kind of um, destroying your foundation. 
Okay, the same people that you fed, the same people that you loved. You guys are mothers. You are Gaia. You are mothers before you are anything else. Okay. So we do have the two of pentacles here. A lot of you are clearing karma. Okay. So the two of pentacles right now in terms of your career path, you're also kind of juggling ideas. You're trying to decide what's best for me, what's, what's best for my next move, what's happening in my life. Okay, but it's happening very quickly. There's a lot of stress around you. Or there's a lot of pain here. But listen, you're doing this flawlessly. People around you are shocked that you're even kind of juggling something here. It's not that you need the validation, Scorpio, or Vedic and Scorpio. Okay? Um, it is not that you need the validation. You're doing this gracefully. This is also about maintaining your own balance in terms of career here. You have new, new endeavors that are being protected by your lineage. They want to show you why it's important to come back to a specific lifestyle. It doesn't have to be necessarily of light, okay? But it does have to do with your lineage, the purpose. Okay, so some of you are really exhausted. I'm getting a lot of tears here, just pain. It feels, there's been so much around your heart, you guys. Okay, Capricorn. So center theme. Yes, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Listen, a lot of you may have given this person something. Okay. Some of you guys gave this person a home. You gave this person stability. Or you gave this person generosity. Again, you are mothers. Okay, you did something here in terms of giving this person some kind of structure when they needed it. They did have substances issues here or even just kind of there's something around their own pain really, um, you know, it feels as if it's really woven into your, your life path here. Okay, this person really, listen you guys, there's so much around feeling taken for granted within your career path. Okay, they have taken something that you've given them and they've um, created it, maybe taken some kind of idea here. This is because you are an empress or you're an emperor. You're standing with so much light. A lot of you are standing with so much light or you're, you're really crowned. You look gorgeous, you guys. Okay, reminds me of a Mother Mary influence here. And they know. Okay, but something around your weaknesses or even taking advantage of something that they felt they could take advantage of. This is an opportunity. Something around November, you guys. Okay. And they turned it into something else. This is what hurts. A lot of you... There's something around a certification. Okay. I'm having a vision here of a certification or a training program. Okay. Maybe you met this person around a time of training. There's stillness here. Listen, although this person has really kind of this person really closed your heart, you guys. Okay? It's not so much of them, but the experience of this person. Okay? The experience this person gave you. Something around this, this lesson. It's teaching you a lot about maturity and responsibility within others. Okay? So let's see what's going on here the next three months. This person is a part of your life. I do not want you to think that this is going without, um, 
without acknowledgement, okay? I want you to know this person knows, okay? But there's a reason for this, okay? They have, yes, you guys, I have to be very honest. They have given their soul, okay? This person has a contract here. And it did darken you a bit, but listen, as you move forward in terms of your career, there's light for you. Okay, some of you guys, you have money pouring in without trying. You have finances pouring in without trying. Okay, you are manifesting without trying. This is because, listen, a lot of you, this person has taken definitely advantage, but you have the moon behind you. Okay, which I love. In my vision, your mother is cloaking your head. Some of you, your mother may have passed away, or some of you, there's something around. I'm sorry if that's triggering for anybody. I love you. Holding space. I want you to know you're protected. Okay, she's coming through here. She protects your head, you guys, from any kind of influences that may redirect you because something has happened here around your lineage. There is a deep, destructive um, kind of, it feels like a, I want to call it restructuring, okay? Your discipline, something around discipline, you guys. So as your mother cloaks you, there's so much around teaching you, okay, how to really learn how to sit with your wealth, how to honor your mind, body, spirit, how to save. Okay, so the next three months, there's rest. Okay, a lot of you are starting to really see something around the world. This is more about awakening around Gaia, what's happening here. Okay. You guys were high priestesses many lifetimes ago, or excuse me, many lifetimes ago, and you still are. This person knows, okay? They know something around your past lives or your secrets, okay? They are very aware here. The one thing they're not noticing is that they can take what they want, you guys, but they can't really take your entire, <laughs> they cannot take your entire lineage and they cannot take your destiny. Ow. They can force destruction, but they cannot take what is rightfully yours. This person has a... Um, Maybe like a, a, a God-like situation here. They feel as if they're bigger than God. Okay. Feels as if they're kind of... Um, yeah. They need healing, you guys. So there's so much healing around this person. So we have the chariot in reverse for the next three months in your career or within your career path. Something is coming to a halt, you guys. Your heart, what has happened here? Okay, there's a bit of rest. Okay, but there's a bit of rest that will be not only a recovery with finances all around you. It reminds me of the pharaohs, okay? How they sit with their wealth. They're protected by their gold. Okay, you are crowned with the Uraeus. So you may be in rest, you're definitely resting, but you will have more than enough around you, okay? A lot of you are trying to recover what was lost. This may also be a big investment or a lifestyle where you took a, a major risk. You guys, it feels really intense here, okay? It could also be um, some kind of collaboration around a lot of wealth. You guys had an agreement around wealth, okay, and it did not go the way you expected, okay, so let's see here, the next three months in terms of your career, this person, um, some of you, this is someone with the name of R here, they, they wear scarves, or they're constantly covering themselves, 
okay. I'm also seeing someone who is covering a lot of their throat, so they have a hard time speaking. Okay, this person may not be able to speak their truth, or they have a hard time speaking honestly. Okay, I do not feel they are able to leave you. I don't know why I'm getting someone who's obsessive about you. This may have led you down a long path prior. Okay, so the next three months... So you have the Two of Cups. Okay, listen, you guys. Some of you are working with other people. This person has other people helping you or a collaboration. I do feel because of their need to overpower everyone. This is not just you. Okay? This is someone who... Um, they, I don't want to say narcissism because we can kind of go down that path, but... There's so much around this person really networking around who you work with, how much you're working with them, okay? Please get a restraining order if it feels life-threatening, you guys, because this person is definitely, definitely giving me, um, just be, be cautious, okay? So you're leaving something behind, you guys, the next three months, okay? May is a month of fruition. Please trust that even in this time of rest, you will have finances. You guys have maybe been charging ahead um, through this network. You guys are working together, fast money, or it could just be big. It just feels like a lot of wealth, okay? But you're redirected towards your path, okay? You may have a fallen out with this person, but it's due to purpose, Okay, there's a purpose here. Your heart, you guys. Please take care of your heart during this time. So what opportunities, spirit? Let's see. What opportunities? Listen, you guys, this person or whatever is happening here with work, I do see fruition, but you're going to have to heal from some kind of contract or I'm having a vision of, of a dying horse, okay? This may have been some kind of this person really worked towards slowing you down in something, or there's something around a contract here. In terms of fame, recognition, power. But I, they're not really slowing down here. I don't know why I'm getting someone who doesn't really want to slow down. But in your case, some of you are moving the 24th of this month. You're relocating to find rest, to find peace, and all of the money that, excuse me, all of the finances that you have invested in, you are definitely putting it to use. I see a new job here for you, okay? May is a month of fruition, a complete career path, okay? Do you see the medical field for some of you? For others, it's finances or banking, you guys are doing great in terms of math or you're really wonderful at manifesting. So this is going to be applied in the career world. I am getting some confusion around your career path. Okay, there's a lot of confusion around your career here. Okay, but you're going to manifest new dreams. If you are in the industry of modeling or, or an actress or you're being seen or this is about your beauty or, you know, this could be someone who's really fatally attracted to you, you guys. I also see something around other people or um, people who are cloaking you or something of that nature. Okay, you are separating from them. Okay, or some of you are deciding to kind of set the tone or set things straight with this person. 
This has to do with the contract, okay? But listen, you have new opportunities coming in the end of April through May. You will be recognized. If you guys have been working hard at being seen in the industry or noticed, you will, okay? Or if this is just about showing your work, okay? Or gaining opportunity through social media or open platforms, it will happen for you. Okay, this is about focusing, turning your back on the past. Listen, some of you people are not understanding why you're leaving or there's a lot of um, trying to kind of burn what you've established, but a lot of you are focused on moving ahead, okay? Gentle, be gentle with yourselves. Please forgive. And more than anything, you guys, please protect your heart or try to kind of cover your heart, something around... Um, being attacked in the heart, okay, not physical, but it just feels as if you've had, you just, you guys, there's been so much around your pain, okay, so please protect yourself, be gentle with yourself, this may also be a time of, uh, recuperation or just gaining back your strength or your health, okay? So what's your advice? You're walking with Archangel Raziel, okay? So you are protected, my loves. Listen, you are the Empress, okay? So even when you are resting or even when your eyes are closed, you are manifesting, you have money, just kind of coming in, finances are flowing in, you look beautiful, you look radiant, you will be noticed, okay? Especially if you lost an opportunity with this person, you will be noticed elsewhere, okay? Specifically April 14th, April 24th, this move will also help you um, regenerate your health, you'll feel more young or you'll feel healthier in the mind, and I am seeing a little bit of just new hair like this, Kelly Rowland. Okay, new hair, new look. And you're trusting Gaia, okay? Some of you, there is a Libra and a Gemini here. Very much in love with you. Okay, so not only are you manifesting more wealth, your ancestors want to show you how to kind of recuperate or heal so you can get back on track they're with you but something around um, there's this darkness around your money right now you guys so there's this really dark cloak over your wealth okay so they are encouraging money from a place of faith and light okay so they want to kind of disconnect you from this person what's your advice here the next three months Okay, so I do see Saturn. Okay, this is about really establishing yourself with discipline. Allowing yourself to feel disciplined. Okay, it's like you're moving, mother made in chrome. You guys are leveling up your magic, okay? Exactly, this is about maturing, you guys. Listen, your spirit guides want you to feel um, your power. They really want you to step into a different place where your ideas are no longer what if, it's more of yes. Okay, it's more of yes, you are worthy. A lot of you are reprogramming a lot of your childhood where perhaps things were limited extremely. You're only here. This is as much as we want here. Um, I told my mother I wanted to be a singer when I was like four you know, what was it, seven, and it was a lot of here, but she did it with grace, and I love it, right, so we are, this is revisiting mother as well, where were there limits to protect you, right, this is about protecting you, but you can recreate this, and create something of your own, okay, so this is about reconnecting with Gaia, mother and trusting that things have happened for a reason. I feel this is coming from a place of not being seen, not being heard, but you will, okay? Things are completely evolved and they're beautiful, okay? Also trusting that everything that 
has lived up up to this moment in your life is for a reason, okay? It's really creating a lot of maturity for you, okay? Or it's, you're redesigning your story, your, your, something around the collage here that you may have always wanted to kind of put together, okay? It'll be gorgeous. I love you. Bye.